Greetings, space enthusiasts. Have you ever wondered if humans could make a new home on Mars? It's a fascinating idea that has captivated the imagination of scientists and dreamers alike. In this video, we'll explore the potential of Mars as a new home for humans and the challenges we would face in making that vision a reality. First, let's talk about Mars as a potential new home for humans. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, and its proximity and similarity to Earth make it an attractive destination for exploration and colonization. With an average temperature of minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit and a thin atmosphere, living on Mars would be vastly different from living on Earth. However, Mars does have some advantages, such as its abundance of water ice and potential to sustain plant life with the right technology. Next, let's discuss the current plans and proposed timelines for colonizing Mars. Space agencies and private companies such as NASA, SpaceX, and Blue Origin have outlined ambitious plans for sending humans to Mars in the next few decades. These plans include missions to test technology and establish a sustainable human presence on the Red Planet. However, there are many challenges associated with living on Mars, including a lack of atmosphere, extreme temperatures, and radiation exposure. Without a protective magnetic field, Mars is bombarded by harmful radiation from space, which can be damaging to both human health and technology. The thin atmosphere also means that Mars experiences dramatic temperature swings, with surface temperatures ranging from minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. These challenges will require innovative solutions and new technologies to overcome. But with dedication, ingenuity, and a spirit of exploration, we can push the boundaries of human knowledge and pave the way for a new era of space exploration and colonization. So, what do you think? Are you ready to take the first step towards becoming a Martian pioneer? Have you ever wondered what it would take to build a sustainable colony on Mars? How would we construct buildings that can protect us from the harsh environment, provide us with air and water, and shield us from radiation? Stay tuned, we'll delve into the potential benefits of living on Mars and the exciting possibilities that await us in the final frontier. First, let's dive deeper into how living on Mars would differ from life on Earth. Living on Mars would be vastly different from life on Earth. For starters, the gravity on Mars is only about one-third of what we experience on Earth, which could have significant impacts on the human body over time. The day-slash-night cycle on Mars is also longer than Earth's, lasting approximately 24.6 hours. Additionally, the available resources on Mars are much more limited than those on Earth, with water being a particularly scarce commodity. Despite these challenges, there are numerous potential benefits to living on Mars. For example, scientific research opportunities on Mars could greatly expand our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Additionally, a Martian colony could provide a new frontier for human civilization, allowing us to establish a permanent presence beyond Earth and potentially even terraform the planet over time. Building a sustainable colony on Mars would require a tremendous amount of planning and effort. The key to success would be constructing habitats that can protect colonists from the extreme Martian environment and provide them with everything they need to survive. When it comes to building materials, we could use a variety of options, including Martian soil, pre-made building materials such as modular inflatable structures, or a combination of both. Martian soil can be compressed into bricks using a process called sintering, which involves heating the soil until it fuses together. This technique would be especially useful as it allows the building materials to be produced locally, saving us the expense and logistical challenge of transporting materials from Earth. Designing Martian buildings would also require careful consideration of a variety of factors, including airlocks to maintain the atmospheric pressure, radiation shielding to protect colonists from harmful cosmic rays, and life support systems to provide colonists with air, water, and food. Ultimately, building a sustainable colony on Mars would require innovation, collaboration, and the willingness to push the boundaries of what's possible. It's an exciting challenge that could unlock incredible opportunities for humanity's future. One of the biggest challenges of establishing a colony on Mars is producing food and other essential resources in a hostile environment. Mars has a thin atmosphere, harsh temperatures, and high levels of radiation, all of which can make growing crops and sustaining life difficult. To address these challenges, several potential solutions have been proposed. One approach is to use hydroponics, a technique where plants are grown in nutrient-rich water instead of soil. 
This method has been successful in a variety of environments on Earth and could be adapted for use on Mars. Another potential solution is to use genetically modified crops that are resistant to Martian soil and can thrive in the planet's harsh conditions. Additionally, the use of vertical farming, where crops are grown in vertically stacked layers, could provide a way to maximize space and increase crop yields. Ultimately, producing food on Mars will require a combination of innovative solutions and a willingness to experiment with new techniques. Now, let's talk about how a Martian colony would be powered. Solar power is currently the most feasible option for generating energy on Mars. The planet receives a significant amount of sunlight, and solar panels could be used to harness this energy and provide power to the colony. Other potential alternatives include nuclear power or geothermal energy, but these technologies would require additional infrastructure and pose unique challenges. Let's consider how a Martian society might differ from Earth society. Establishing a new society on another planet would likely require significant adjustments to social norms, government structures, and cultural values. For example, Martian colonists may need to adapt to the new environment and create a culture that prioritizes sustainability, self-sufficiency, and innovation. In terms of government structures, a Martian colony may operate under a unique system that combines elements of democracy, meritocracy, and collective decision-making. It may also involve a high degree of collaboration and mutual support among colonists due to the isolated and challenging nature of living on Mars. However, one potential challenge that could arise from living in a Martian colony is social isolation and its impact on mental health. Being thousands of miles away from Earth, with limited communication and resources, could lead to feelings of loneliness and depression. To address these challenges, potential solutions include prioritizing mental health care and support systems, creating opportunities for socialization and community building, and ensuring that colonists have access to entertainment and recreation options to help alleviate stress and promote well-being. Let's talk about how a Martian economy might function. The first Martian settlers would likely need to focus on survival and building infrastructure, but eventually, a range of industries and job opportunities could emerge. These could include resource extraction, manufacturing, research and development, and tourism. As the Martian colony grows, it may also need to establish a form of currency and trade system. This could involve bartering for goods and services or creating a digital currency system that operates independently of Earth's economy. Ultimately, building a sustainable colony on Mars is a complex and ambitious endeavor that would require significant effort and resources. However, it also presents incredible opportunities for innovation, exploration, and the expansion of human knowledge and experience. Cultural considerations are an important aspect of any society, and a Martian colony would be no exception. Colonists would need to create a culture that reflects their unique experiences and values, while also adapting to the new environment. This could involve developing new forms of art, music, and entertainment that reflect the challenges and opportunities of living on Mars. It could also involve incorporating elements of Earth culture into the Martian society to help colonists maintain a connection to their home planet. Additionally, a Martian society would need to consider how to address potential conflicts that could arise. Living in a small, isolated community with limited resources could lead to tensions and disagreements among colonists. To address these conflicts, it may be necessary to establish clear rules and procedures for resolving disputes, as well as creating a culture of open communication and collaboration. It may also be helpful to have trained mediators or counselors on hand to help resolve conflicts before they escalate. Overall, building a sustainable colony on Mars is an ambitious and challenging task that would require the collaboration of people from all over the world. While there are many obstacles to overcome, the potential benefits are enormous, from advancing scientific knowledge to inspiring future generations of explorers. One exciting possibility is exploring other planets and moons in our solar system. There are several fascinating destinations that we could visit, such as Europa, which has a subsurface ocean that could potentially harbor life, or Titan, which has lakes and rivers of liquid methane. In addition to scientific exploration, there are also potential commercial opportunities for space tourism. Companies like SpaceX and Virgin Galactic are already working on developing space tourism programs, and as space travel technology advances, we may see more and more people traveling to space for leisure.
Furthermore, a Martian colony could serve as a launching point for future space exploration and colonization. As we develop the technology and infrastructure needed to sustain life on Mars, we will also be developing the skills and knowledge needed to explore further into space. This could include building habitats on other planets and moons, mining asteroids for resources, and even establishing a permanent human presence on other worlds. The possibilities are truly endless, and the potential benefits for humanity are enormous. Now at the end let's explore some of the ethical considerations and future visions for humanity's expansion into space. As we begin to expand human civilization beyond Earth, we must consider the potential impacts on other planetary environments and the responsibility to protect Earth's biodiversity. It is important to ensure that we do not cause harm to other worlds as we explore and colonize them. This may involve implementing strict regulations on activities like mining and resource extraction to prevent environmental damage, as well as finding ways to sustainably use and manage resources on other planets. Looking to the future, there are many exciting visions for humanity's expansion into space. Some people envision large-scale space habitats and colonies, while others imagine a future where humans can travel freely throughout the solar system and beyond. However, realizing these visions will not be without its challenges. We will need to develop new technologies, overcome logistical and financial hurdles, and navigate complex ethical and legal considerations. But the potential benefits of expanding human civilization into space are enormous. From advancing scientific knowledge to finding new resources and opportunities for economic growth, the possibilities for the future of humanity are endless. Overall, the journey of space exploration is one of both excitement and responsibility. As we continue to push the boundaries of what we know and explore new frontiers, we must remain mindful of the impact we have on other worlds and our own planet. Thank you for visiting my channel. Don't forget to subscribe the channel if you want such videos in future. See you in the next video.